Hello, I'm Tarek from Halcaps and today I'm going to explain to you how our inventory management feature works on product options. So firstly, we are going to go to our product options section and we will add a new option. For this example, we are going to put our display name as material test. Also a new unique name called materials. Also the other four sections are optional. For the types, the top seven types are usable for this feature, others are not. For this instance, we're going to use a radio button. Now we are going to enter a unique name. For this instance, we're going to call it gold. And we will click on the manage inventory option. Here we will add a quantity of three. And then we have here a three new options. For this one, we are going to go continue selling. The second one, we are going to name silver. And we are going to pick the second option called disable. The last one, we are going to do bronze. And again, click on the manage inventory button. And now we're going to click on hide when out of stock. Now we are going to save. Then we are going to go to option sets section. Here again, we are going to add a new option set. Now we are going to name it materials once again. This is completely optional and click on the materials one. Options that are set to hide or disable when out of stock will not be considered as required. Now we are going to click on the save button. Also, we can implement some customer tags here. Lastly, we have the conditions section. We will add a new condition. Here we have a couple of rules that we can implement. For instance, we will do if the material is equal to bronze, then we can show or hide the values with the color and let's do red. Options that are marked as hidden when out of stock will not be displayed when the show condition configured here is matched with the defined rule. We will click on save. Now on our storefront, we have a couple of product options. If we click on the material bronze, the color red will appear. But if we go on the gold option, the red will disappear. Also, if we put the quantity of gold that is more than the inventory, we will be able to continue selling because that's the option that we picked. But if we go to the silver option and pick four for inventory, then we will receive an error stating that this option is not available. For this example, we are going to edit our options material. Here we are going to manage our inventory. So our gold inventory is minus three. Our silver inventory is zero and our bronze inventory is also zero. Here we have the options that we spoke up before. Now we're going to click on save. Now we will refresh our store front. Here we can see that the bronze option is not available at all. The silver option is not highlighted and not clickable and the gold option is available. So now we can add the gold option to our cart. Now I'm going to explain to you how one charge feature works. We will edit our materials options and click on one time charge. When one time charge is clicked, inventory, no matter the quantity of the order will be considered as one. It only works with the create charge and use existing variant picking option. Click on save. 
one important notice. The inventory of the option value will only be deducted after the order is successfully placed. So in some cases where a product has a lower inventory count and multiple users are trying to order the same product then the, in that case a few orders might get processed and placed successfully via the application since the value of the option inventory count cannot be tracked on the card page.